What is up guys? Today we're going to talk about five things we love about our new Honda CRZ that we got for the channel. Number one is Say that. Say hi to the mascot. That's number, number one, one. is that Suki Tokyo drifts on the seats. She does. She slides on it. No, but for real, um, this is our new CRZ for the channel. We got it from our uh, friend Eric. Um, love it. Awesome view of the clouds today. It's pretty dope. That is a helicopter. Making noise. Yeah, the helicopter. Police copter. Right up there. Can you even see it in the camera? I feel like I can't even see it. Oh, there it is. Anyways, <clears throat> um, this is a 2011 135. I just passed 133. 133, 133,000 miles. It is an automatic. It is an EX with the nav. Um, so let's talk about number one reason, obvious, is the styling. It looks. This is a 2011, and honestly, it still looks like the styling is pretty modern, like something you would see into 2022. The only thing that a 2022 I feel like would have that this doesn't have is some type of like DRL in the headlight. Yeah, you're right. That's basically it. Like otherwise, like well, I feel like- Well, these have DRLs. It's just not like the LEDs or- Yeah, like, like yeah. R8, like Audi style DRL, like yeah. how everyone runs now. Yep. I feel like that's the only thing you would put on this car that would like modernize it more than it is, um, which is pretty great, you know? So um, the styling, absolutely, that's a given. This was not a difficult list for us to make. No, this, yeah, we actually took, you know, we, we took us, up the list of things we, were like, we didn't what like. We do, what do we love about it? Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, the Done. things we don't like. I'm like, I know two right off the top of my head. Yeah. Now we gotta really think and yeah. like, uh, process this. Um, like I said, the styling is great on these. These things look beautiful. They yeah. are just a modern CRX. And I mean, who doesn't like the CRX? The CRX is like, it's God's chariot, man. <laughs> <laughs> if you were around on the old uh, Honda Tech days, you'll you'll know yeah. about God's chariot, um, CR CRXs. Uh. So number two on the uh, list is the handling. Uh, also a pretty obvious reason. The is it though? I suppose maybe not. not I mean, not but I I don't know. Really like great, yeah, like, true. This, this does actually handle very well. My expectation, to be honest, of anything that Honda makes that's this size is that it's going to handle beautifully. That's fair. So, but, but um, to touch on that, the nice part is, is if you compare this to the Fit, which is a very good comparison to this car, this is a five lug. The Fit's a four lug. Yep. And this comes with rear disc brakes. Yep. And the Fit does not come with rear disc brakes. Yeah. It's so. pretty awesome. That's those are some pretty good upgrades, all things considered. I love that line in the door. It's so cool. The line in the door is very nice. The same with the bottom yeah. line too. Yeah, it's yeah. very, very well done styling for sure. I like the door handles the way everything kinda like lines up in it. It's yeah, really it's, nice. it's 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 really that's the best part thought though, through. styling. Yeah. Styling wise. Styling wise, this is definitely the best part. Hey styling, how you doing? Hi, my name is She's Styling. styling. <laughs> so uh reason number three, um, the interior. The interior and this goes along with styling. Ignore I mean, look at the these seats. Is like dirty. We're gonna clean that. This is like SI style seats. Yeah, kind of with like the with kind the, of two tone in the sort of not two yeah. tone, but the two different materials. But I mean, they're they're great seats. The even the headrest they're super look comfortable. sporty. They're very you know? comfortable seats. They're comfy. They've got you know side airbags. Like I mean, that's it's a great great seats. Like yeah. uh, and then you talk about the spaceship type. Shift knob. It looks like a pimp cane. Awesome. Like a what? A pimp cane. It does look like a pimp cane. It's a, it's a pimp cane. Yeah. And then we'll talk about, you know, the EX uh, came with the leather wrapped steering wheel. You like the leather wrapped steering wheel? Yeah, I do. So the leather wrapped steering wheel and then the gauge cluster, which, which is we can, uh... freaking awesome. Nope. You got to turn the key for that. Yeah, I'll get but, that. But um, let's see if you can reach that. I think I can. Oh man, look at that. It's a great gauge cluster. Yeah. And actually, this little center dial will change color. If you're being more eco-friendly, it changes to green. It's pretty awesome. If it's uh, blue, you're just kind of like cruising normal. And then and when you're you, punching it, it's red. No, right? no, if you hit the sport button, it turns red. That's that's, that's pretty, pretty awesome. Sick, For honestly. like a 2011, it's pretty awesome. The fact that you hit a sport button and it goes red, you're just like, yeah. sick. Okay. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Um, so that's uh, number three. Number four uh, should be pretty obvious. I mean, this was the first thing that I thought of, um, but it's the fuel economy. I mean, obviously this thing is a hybrid, so like fuel economy, uh, it's total expectation. But here's the thing that about fuel economy that you really got to think about is that when you look at something like this versus like a Prius, right? Or even like you take a direct competitor, like kind of like a Prius C, 
Yeah. A Prius C, sure. The Prius C is definitely gonna get better fuel economy. Yeah. No question. The Prius C is also, as a downfall though, A, it's gonna handle worse. I'm like, I have not driven a Prius C, but yeah. I would be shocked if a Prius C handled like this or better. Mm -hmm. Prius stigma. Yeah, yeah. You drive a Prius, nobody likes you. Yeah. No, I don't, I don't <laughs> think I've ever. If you drive a Prius, we don't actually mind you. You're fine. No, um, Priuses are fine, but <laughs> but like you, yeah. there is a thing. There is Prius stigma, especially within like the old American car community. Yeah, and like you don't see that with a CRZ, despite being a very similar not at all. Type of, it's a high so type while of while the Prius definitely gets like better fuel economy, it's it's you know it's it gets twenty to twenty five percent better fuel economy for sure. Some of them even you know get even more than that. But here's the thing that a lot of people don't think about is that Priuses have these batteries that cost thousands of dollars to change when they need to be changed yeah. and that's no joke it's i mean that's it's a, a huge, serious your, cost most people just sell them at that point yeah and and the offset in price it's like the amount of money that you save by getting the extra 25 even 30 percent in your fuel economy unless you're only driving the prius like for a little while and then you know you're gonna sell it well before the batteries go bad because if you try to sell it when the batteries go bad you're not gonna get a lot of money for your car right? right but if you try to offset it then what are you really even doing because if you're selling the car too early you're gonna lose money anyways you know what i mean sure. so like yeah. you can't the the battery factor in hybrids is not here like this this hybrid system functions reliably and doesn't have to rely on these like huge batteries that cost a bunch of money to change. So that's a huge, huge bonus for this car. I agree actually oh, 100%. It's really nice to have something that like, it just functions more like a normal car. And actually that that is the difference on this is like, you know, with the Prius, you can run on the electric motor and you cannot do that with this. This is, yeah. it, they call it, it's a Honda's IMA. It's their integrated motor assist and it uses an electric motor that's placed between the block and the transmission to make the engine basically work better for lack of a better term right you know yeah it assists the engine in doing what it needs to do yes and that's honestly that's that's more in line with you know uh a p1 at 918. yeah not that they can't run on all electric but they use electric motors so you heard it here first power. guys this is basically a 918 spider well under, you know once Honda. i get the exhaust coming out the top here yeah it will be so that. we're gonna do exhaust out the top just right through the window we're not even gonna, we're, we're just gonna cut the window yeah with a with a sawzall, yeah. and then we're just gonna put the exhaust, <laughs> and then it's gonna basically be a 918 Spider. I just like that it uses the electric motor in conjunction with versus just trying to be something that when you're in the parking lot is running on electric. Yeah, I like it better yeah. as an assist than. No, it's it's a great car. It's sort of an entity. So reason number five, if you would, good sir, pop the trunk. Sucky, we need you to come be cute. <laughs> so reason number five is the storage space that you get on this thing. Um, as you'd expect with really any hatchback, you're, you know, you're going to have pretty fantastic storage no, space. No, like think about the 350 storage space in the trunk. Yeah, that's true. Well, the, the 350 is, is more of a focused sports car, like the, the 300 had hatch. Space. Yeah, true. But this, I mean, when you fold this guy down, like you've got these storage bins that, that you can actually cover and that's just cover very easily and, and then fold down when the seats are you in the fold lane. that down, like you and, could, this, and this just pops out. I mean. Yeah. If you go by measurement with golf clubs, right? You could fit like four bags of golf clubs in there. That's very old white man of you. Yeah, well, I'm an old white man. Did, so. you, did your dad make this? <laughs> he actually doesn't play golf. Does he not? Mine no. does. I guess I could get him to come in. I could yeah. get him to bring his golf club down. Oh, he could walk. We could just ask him to walk over. How many bags of golf clubs could you fit in there? He's, He's like, like, oh. Like three, three and a half? Yeah. yeah. And that's how you know the story. Depends space. on my drivers. Yeah. <laughs> no, but the storage space in, uh, in all seriousness well, is pretty. And the fact pretty... you have this lovely little. I, yeah, I love, and you get this cover. I yeah. love stuff like this. Yeah, the covers make me very happy. It's fantastic. Um, so storage space for sure. And now uh, a bonus reason, number six. Actually, real quick on on the storage thing, uh, we do take this to the store every week, and we fit enough stuff for four people for a week in it. That's pretty. Without impressive. having to to change it, and I can still get the cover over it. Yeah, that's them. impressive. So, so reason number six, bonus reason, these guys it says CRZ here. Anyways. <laughs> C or Z. Um, this is a EX model. The EX model did come with, uh, well, EX and navigation specific. This has navigation. This is the unit. EX nav yep. model. Uh, but it did come with one of my favorite things, which is this adorable little subwoofer. Which, you know, all things considered for a stock sound system. It sounds great. 
It is impressive. It's actually really good. It's impressive. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so, it's not like my 10 in the Miata, but... From no, but the sound is, is clean, it's dude. Clean like it's and, really good. And it actually hits really the well. The acoustics in the car are actually really great. It is. Yeah. It is. So. Yeah. So that's a little bonus reason for you. But um, yeah, that's basically going to wrap up our list of five things plus one that we like about the CRZ. Oh, I'm going to talk about this real quick. Sorry. It has a handle here in the trunk. I love this. Because uh, then you got to just. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. The G has that. I like that. Too. Another reason. A, seven yeah. reasons. <laughs> so uh, let us know what you guys thought. Five things or six things or seven things that you love about your CRZ. Yeah. This was not a difficult list for us to. And we keep finding random stuff. Yeah. Like, in mid video. It's, it is a great car. It is really um, good. I highly recommend it. Um, if you guys have any video ideas for things that you'd like to see on the CRZ, besides detail, uh, CRZ do. content, we're definitely <laughs> going to be cleaning it. Yeah. We just got this as the as the daily driver, so um, let us know. Let us know what you guys saw the video in the comments down below. And if you liked the video, please make sure to like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and we'll see you in the next one. We appreciate you guys. Where are you at? Run over, run over, six. <laughs>